All right, now we're going to put in practice two of the things that we found. Found the minimum and swapping, okay? We're going to try to create a method, uh, create a method which, in which we can sort these array numbers, okay? Say this is the array numbers. Now, in order to sort this array the way you would sort cards, for example, one natural way is to say, okay, what's the lowest number here? What's the minimum? Oh, let's put it the minimum at the front. That's one, and then let's put four over here in place of the minimum. Now, from the remaining numbers, what's the minimum? Starting from one, what's the minimum? Oh, three, great, it's in place, fine. Let's move on, next. From index two, on, what's the minimum here? Four, oh, okay, let's move four, let's put four here and eight here. Let's move the remaining of the elements. Now the minimum between 8 and 5 oh, is 5, so let's put 5 here and 8 over here. Now let's go here. Oh, there are no more remaining elements. This is it, and the array has been sorted. Okay. So basically, this procedure has us, if I had to detail it, okay, if I had to detail it, um, this procedure would be a procedure that the algorithm of this procedure would be the following. It would say find the minimum, the minimum of the array, and swap it with the element at the front, right? Then the next step, I'm going to move this over here, then the next step would be to do the following with the remaining elements remaining elements with the remaining elements we're going to we're going to find the minimum of the remaining elements and put it at the front and swap it and swap it with the element at the front of those remaining right and we'll do this until there are no remaining elements okay so I'm just gonna make this longer so it all fits here okay this is the algorithm that I'm gonna try to implement so first, find the minimum and swap it with the element at the front, and then with the remaining elements, I'm going to find the minimum and swap it with the element at the front, and then with the remaining elements, with the unsor remaining unsorted elements, and so on and so forth. Now you can see that this is basically the same step as this one. So we can just put this in here. We could, another way of saying this would be start from zero or with start with the whole array array and do with the remaining elements find the minimum this is the same thing results in the same algorithm so let's try to implement this okay so I have my array here the first thing that I'm going to do is I know that I need this little blue arrow that's going to be marking the beginning of the remaining elements at every step so I'm going to create a little for loop with the variable start, which symbolizes the blue arrow, starts at zero, and while start is less than numbers.length, which is the length of this array, I'll increase that start. So this is a for loop that will be traveling over the array. Now at each step, I need to find the minimum and swap it with the element at the front. So let's do the routine to find the minimum. So here's a little routine to find the minimum from the start position, so from the blue arrow in this case. Now notice a couple of things. We'll initialize the minimum to some number, but I also want to track which position I found the minimum at, because remember when we swap we need to know the positions of the elements that we swap. So I will, I will also want to track the position 
of that element. So I'll say, you know, the minimum element, I'm going to initialize it to whatever the blue arrow is, where the start is, and the minimum position, well, is the number of the position where the blue arrow is, where the start is. Then what I'm going to do is a for loop. For, in this case, I start from, starts from the blue arrow, from the start position, all the way to the end of the array. So basically this is saying I goes from the start all the way through the remaining elements. So if start is 3, for example, if start is 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, if start is 3, then i is going to go from third and fourth element only. It's not going to travel any further. If start is 1, then i is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So it goes from start to the, to the end of the array. It goes from start to the end of the array. And going traversing that the, those remaining elements I'm going to have well if the number that I'm looking at is less than the minimum then my minimum my new minimum is that number and the position at which I found it is in this case i because i marks the position at which I'm finding this number okay this number that is less than the minimum you'll see why I want to track the position because once I find the minimum, so for each uh, for each element of the array, I'm going to find the minimum from that element on to the end of the array, and then I'm going to swap. I'm going to create a temporary variable that's going to hold the front of the array. Remember, start is where the is where the blue arrow is. So numbers at start, numbers of start, that's the beginning, the front of the elements that I'm working with. At the front I'm going to put the minimum that I found and at the position at which I found the minimum I'm going to put temp which was at the front first. So I'm basically swapping. The minimum I'm putting at the front and whatever was at the front which I store in temp I'm going to put where I found the minimum. So I'm going to effectively swap the arrays. So let's compile and run this thing and see if it works. This is a small routine just to print the array. So we know that the array starts at 41835. And when we run it, we end up with 13458. You can analyze this routine to print the array and this little sort. This sort is called um, this this sort method is called the uh, selection sort. Try it, and now let's try to do it differently. At home, what you will want to try is to see if instead of putting the instead of putting the minimum here and then moving the arrow one more and then putting the minimum of the remaining here and then the minimum of the remaining here, why don't you do it backwards? Why don't you start with the blue arrow here, look for the whole array, and put the maximum over here? and then the maximum of the others over here. So for example, in this case, what's the maximum number here? 8. So let's swap 8 with 5. We move back. What's the maximum among these numbers? 5. So let's swap 5 with 1. Let's move over here. What's the maximum between these three numbers? 4. So let's swap 4 and one over here, and you move back. What's the maximum between these two? It's three, so we're good. We don't swap anything. And what's the maximum here? One, there's no more remaining elements, and the array is also sorted. So whether you stack the minimum at the front or you stack the maximum at the back, it's going to be sorted. You can try and do the algorithm. It's very simple. There's very few modifications here to make it stack the elements at the back, the maximum elements at the back.